The hull took a battering, to be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner, shipwright, handyman, and the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't kill you quick. Damn. Or slow, for that matter. Um, okay. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. You've kept the walls together this long. Why do you need special tools now? Yeah, what's the catch? I want to build the hull up proper. Make it strong. And keep those blasted crabs out. They're good. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. Fresh shipment. I decided to go start helping some of the citizens of Far Harbor. I'm definitely going to do the main quest a little later, though. I feel like once I have a good, healthy relationship with the citizens, they would be more keen to tolerate me a lot more and to help me out. So what I signed up for would be to help the Mariner with her side quest, so... Let me double check on the map to see where this place is. So I need to go and get some power tools. Question is, where would these power tools be? Are you serious? I have to walk all the way. Oh my god, I'm starting to hate this DLC already. We are finally here. Like, the fact that I had to walk. The fact that I had to walk all the way from here to over there. I mean, the trip wasn't too bad. I didn't get into too many bullshit conflicts. But still, how are you going to send me to halfway across... Not even halfway. The whole... The whole way across the map. On my first time doing this DLC, like that's mad work. Tells this. Oh my god, bro, I'm done. How are you gonna attack me? You see, I'm so happy I'm playing with modifications because me playing this vanilla, I would have been quit. All right, so let's get inside, find the tools, and then get out. I don't know, sometimes this game makes me want to drink, honestly. No, I got three bobby pins. I'm not in the mood. Bye. Alright, so it's somewhere downstairs, but knowing Fallout 4... Oh, you hear them. You hear them. Oh, lord. Oh, no. My leg. It's broken. Ew! Get him, Piper! Get him! Smack his ass! Beat his ass! Come on. Oh, there's another one. You know, I'm just so happy I, I didn't open up this door. Because I would've been pissed. Alright, Piper. Let's go. Who else is here? Oh, shit! Oh! Yeah, likewise. I'm just glad that I'm alive. Alright, so it's somewhere- Woo! What is that? What the fuck is that? All right, all right, that's nasty, bro. Oh my God, bro, I, 
I forgot about the glowing feral ghouls. These little things scare the hell out of me. Because of how they look. Alright, Piper, let's go. Come on. At this point, I regret doing the Mariner mission. I don't even need the tools. Hey! Oh, shit! Okay, so... No one's here. I got the tools. Some ammo. Now let's get the fuck out of here because I'm just done already. Like, I need to leave. The fact that Fallout 4 has me camping the whole map for some fucking tools. I am so happy that I'm able to fast travel because there's no way in hell I am willing to do that long ass walk back to Fort Harbor. Like, not for some f power tools, not even for anything. All right. The tannery? You find my tools yet? Yeah, I found the tools. Here are your tools. A fair bit of luck running into you. Here's your reward. Well earned. And now to work in the hull. Well, I got 450. Yay! That is so cool. I am so thankful that I walked a million miles for 450 caps. Dock and back. Anyways, let me go to another um let me go do another mission for the town here. Alright, so I gotta go talk to Cassie. Let me see who Stick this Cassie pers person is. You're that uh, mainlander who just got here. Yeah, I Better am. watch yourself. What? this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. So I it hears me take a shit? Tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. Okay. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. What family are you talking about? I was just about to explain. Mm. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations, even back before the war. Damn, it that's 20 years. And fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. How convenient. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Mm -hmm. Someone strong, mm -hmm. someone capable. Uh -huh. With the stranger's help. The last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. You're talking in third person, bro. Let me guess. I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family. Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you. Because your part in the story is filled with danger. Of course now, it is. On to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, that sucks. those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame. Where'd you say these ghouls were? National Park Campground. It's pretty much straight west of here. Oh my god, I have to walk across the whole fucking map for this shit, huh? Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. Yes, yes. Let's go ahead and do some revenge. <laughs> oh, thank God it's so near. 
Okay, way better than this place. It's just halfway through. All right, well, let's let's head on now, I guess. Oh no. All right, time for me to just cheat my way through this. We're at the park, and now I'm just trying to eliminate all the ghouls that decided to jump on Cassidy's cousin, so. I wonder if Piper got it. Does she? Mmm, damn. Oh yeah, she got it. You see, there's a reason why I decided to wife up Piper, because she could handle herself. That's my girl right there. That's my baby girl. Okay. National Park Campground. Yay, we're here. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? I don't want him to eat my ass. The fuck? I think, I think we're done, right? Is that all? Yo, I blew up this, uh... Ooh, this feral to hell because he just disappeared. Oh, he's right here. Yo, are you eating shit? Are you smearing shit on your face? You know what? Ow! Disgusting. Abomination. I'm not even in the mood to entertain that. I'm really not. Ew. This guy was dead ass eating from here. Oh my god, bro. Yo, I need a drink. I dead ass need a drink. Thank God for fast yeah. travel. Captain Avery's all right, I guess. I mean, I didn't ask, but thank you for the input. Ooh. All right, so I killed all the ghouls. I wiped out the feral ghouls at the campground. The hero of our saga returns triumphant. Ha <laughs> I bet the island didn't see that coming. It's only right you get paid for your troubles. Here's 200 caps for you. Yay. So, who else needs to be avenged? Well, I'm glad you asked. I should have never asked. About what's oh, next. what the hell? It came to me. We all love our grandparents, don't we? I didn't really get to know mine, so I can't really say. Love to spoil you. No, not really. Not mine. Awful to happen to them. Nobody would. That's why it broke my heart when I lost Grandpa George. GG. GG. What happened to him? He had a farm a little ways north of here. Oh no. Lived a peaceful life. Work in the land and not causing anyone trouble. The island sent something after him. A huge monster. Mean as spit and with claws to snap steel beams. A fog crawler. Grandpa bravely stood his ground. A shotgun in his hands, holding off that terror while the farmhands fled back here. If you can take out that shell-backed devil, It'll send a message loud and clear that says the Daltons never forget when they've been wronged. Where can I find this farm? Follow the coastline to the north. That fog crawler's gonna pay. For Grandpa George. That's the spirit. Okay, so where is this farm here? Where is this farm? Oh my god, all the way over there, bro. All the way over there, oh my god. You know, I know what you're thinking. Yo, stop complaining. Be grateful that Fallout 4 made new DLC content when it was released a couple years ago. Okay, but at the end of the day, how are you gonna go and have me travel all over the whole ass land? Just for a simple ass task, like power tools and ghouls, like bro, come on. I want more excitement than this shit, that's for sure. So this is the farmhouse, huh? I feel like I'm in some sort of a Resident Evil game with all of the surroundings dark as hell and... Where? What the hell is that? 
Yo, what the hell is that, bro? Oh, fuck no. No, I can't. I can't. That shit looks crazy. Why is it galloping like- ah! Why is it galloping like that, bro? Stop. Leave me alone. I'm not even interested in you. Oh, it's because Piper's down. Okay. Stop. Okay. Oh my god, what is that shit? That shit looks so ugly. Oh my god, this game's giving me so much anxiety. Not if I have my say. I agree, Piper. I am so happy that you came with me because I wouldn't know what to do. So this is the actual farm that got destroyed by that fro that fog crawler, right? Damn, there goes the farm. Huh. Is this really a farm? Cause this looks like a store to me. Yeah, this was an actual store. This wasn't no farm. Unless of course this part was the farm. Yeah, okay. All right, well, let's head on back to tell Cassie that we avenged her grandparents, so. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm doing, because I swear to God, if she has more people to avenge, it's, it's just annoying at this point. You ask anyone in Far Harbor, they'll tell you Grandpa George was everybody's favorite. Grandpa George can rest in peace. The fog crawler is dead. Wonderful. That's another chapter successfully concluded. You truly are the heroic Avenger I hoped you were. With that fog crawler gone, we can send some folks up there to get the place ready for you. That's right. The farm is yours. What? Your own little piece of the island. It'll take work to get it up and running again, but you'll have help. And here's another 200 caps in gratitude for your service to the great Dalton lineage. Oh my god, she gave me the farm. Wow, I, wow, I feel bad. I'm over here complaining and yet this woman gave me a whole ass farm, bro. Who else needs to be avenged? I was just about to explain. I should have no, never asked again. What the fuck's wrong with me? That the bonds of blood and family are strong. As strong as any a person can know. But if you ask me, mm -hmm. the strongest among them is the bond that exists between two married people. That's why the last part of this tale is the hardest one for me to tell. Well, spill the tea, sis. What happened? Well, believe me, I know exactly how you feel. Cause my dead if husband. That's true. Then I'm sorry to hear it. Perhaps we'll confront our pain together. Okay. My late husband Daniel was the best fisherman this island ever saw. He and his crew had a favorite fishing spot out by Brooks Head Lighthouse. One day, a day I'll never forget. I see Danny's boat pulling up with his crewmen all shouting and carrying on. Turns out some trappers moved into the lighthouse. No doubt because the island told them to. They're all crazier than a bag of mole rats. Their leader was having a little target practice. Shot Danny right between the eyes. That's messed Killed up, bro. Like that. I would have fought right then and there. Get that son of a bitch. You make him pay for doing the island's bidding. Wow, that's crazy. Wait, did you just call someone else crazy? <laughs> that is priceless. What? I don't get your meaning. Cause you're crazy, uh, lady. Never mind that. Remember, trappers may be half crazy from the fog, but they still know how to use a gun. How convenient. That is so convenient. All right, so let me take a look at the map here. Where's the trapper? Oh, no, 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 no. This is bullshit. I am not. Look at this. 
Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I thought this was, like, it, but there's more? Oh, my God. I am not going over there. Lady, I'm sorry about your husband, but I'm not helping for shit. Goodbye. Goodbye. That is... That is a long-ass trip. Do I have time for a long-ass trip? No, the fuck I don't. Where's the mariner? It seems like she needs help, so... Let me see. What you want now? Okay. Gave me this idea. What? A cargo freighter founded ages ago to the south. With a bit of arc welding and some elbow grease, the hull could be reinforced to be sturdy. Fierce. Best to do it soon. Before. Well, soon. Why does it need to be soon? I... Yeah. That's not a matter for you. Just Damn. The hull needs fixing. Come on. I'm one of the few people that helps out around here. Tell me the so tea, sis. What's going Fine. on? Spill it. Doc Teddy? Mm -hmm. Well, I have a condition. Oh, no. Terminal. Oh, no fuck. I wanted to get that out. When I take the long walk, I can't count on anyone else keeping the hull in good repair. So it's best to get her ready before then. What the hell? Is there really no cure? Even in the old days, plenty of diseases were never beat. And this, well, Teddy sent word to some mainland doctors with my charts and all. Only heard back regrets. I can't imagine what you're going through. If there's any way I can help. Ah, I've shed my fill of tears on this. Okay. But we've got business to be about. The ship's the MS Azalea. Expect trappers. Azalea Banks? Once you mop the decks with them, I'll send my crew over. Best of luck. Aww, I'm s I feel so bad now. Like, the Mariner wants all this done because she's dying from some sort of crazy disease. Oh, Lord. I feel like an asshole for complaining. I'll help her out. Oh. Oh, oh, what the hell? No, seriously, what the fuck? Why are all these places so dumb far? You know what? I feel bad by the end of the day. I'm gonna talk to old Wong fellow. And see what he wants. Talk with him. Ew, lady! Are you seriously gonna give me some lip for Sandra? what? Only Alan's got enough backbone to stand up to the children. Only Alan's got enough Such backbone to stand up for the children. Let me talk to Alan's bitch hey, ass. Alan. The mainlander. Great. Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight. Our island. Not yours. Alan, you stupid ass ho. Oh, I mean, I know, you know, for plot and story character development you have to play the asshole because why not but really you're being a little obnoxious at this point i'm not here to pick a fight you just don't understand okay what happens next time when you wait here huh for the next either us harbormen survive on our own terms or we take the long walk together so if you're here to buy some ordnance do your business otherwise take the first boat out of here before the children of Adam are worse, get you. What's your problem with the children of Adam? We should have gunned those bastards down the moment they set foot here. Instead, we let them in. And all in secret from wherever they're holed up, they've been feeding the fog. How you know? They're getting it stronger. How you know they're strong feeding enough the fog? to push us all out of our homesteads? Like what evidence do you have? Further until it's a wonder we're not all drowned in the ocean. Bro. Yeah, exactly. Do you have proof? Do you have any proof that they've fed the fog? Proof? Yeah. We wait for that and we might as well pull the trigger ourselves. Y so Look, you don't. Cool. My daddy's time, the fog was a nuisance. Something you avoided. Now every day it gets stronger. It's like the fire's a hell out there. Because of the children. 
The children. The children. Not interested right now. Is anybody gonna buy anything? Not from your horrible ass attitude. With a punchable face. I bet your beard is so full of chinchas. It's yeah. like Beach you can't even shave that shit anymore. Let me turn off my light. It's kind of rude. No! Oh my god, bro. You know what? You know what? It's a good. You know what? How about this? Let me go and put my armor away in the corner so I can have like a nice heart to heart oh conversation with him. Yeah, I bet you like that, huh, Piper? Everyone. Everyone. Heads up. Shoot. Piper. Mm, time for some travel fuel. So Hot one? For I need you to get out of your power armor. You got it. <laughs> I like how she's able to have her hat appear around her head. Yeah! Time to party! Oh, here's the match! Match! You're kidding. Ah, drown your worries in cheap booze. <laughs> Alright, that's cool. Let me talk to this guy here. Uh, I'm gonna take that, uh, comic book. Hell yeah. I don't think you need it, but I'm gonna sit right here. Is that a kitty cat? Meow! Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia? Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. Come on, Last man. Fell, I couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. Bro. Can you tell me about Acadia? Strange folk like there. Call themselves synths. Seems to me they just want to be left alone, to live their life in peace. They've done some good turns for us islanders. The fog condensers, most especially, wouldn't even be a far harbor left without those. What's a fog condenser? The condensers are a tricky bit of science. They keep the fog away. Powered by the wind farm, the synth fellas got up and running. Us islanders don't particularly like being obligated to them. But there you have it. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yeah, I know. It's worth dying over, huh? The runaway's name is Kasumi. You know about her? Sounds like Cap Mabry's been running her mouth again. She should know better than to stick her nose where it's not wanted. Maybe I heard of her. Maybe not. Oh, come on, Longfellow. You're gonna be wishy-washy, you piece of shit. This girl's all her family has. You'd have to be a real wretch not to give a damn. Bah. This goes against all reason. But I could get you to Acadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, rad, X and the like. And then the real work can begin. Should I make any other preparations? Ammo, stim packs, maybe a rocket or three. Worse than Meyer lurks out there. Worse than Meyer lurks? Well, you know what, big boy? I'm ready. I got all my stim packs. I got all my atomic nukes. I mean, I'm coming here like the National Guard on steroids. Like, I'm all set. I'm all ready, bro. Thank God for mods. That's all I have to say. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me. All right. That's it. First of all, I want to see where this pussy is. Here, Gatito. Hey there. I hope mainlanders did better than my regulars. What you need? Uh, none of your lip, that's for sure. <clears throat> Brooks is a mainlander too. And a synth. Whatever that is. Oh, they don't even know the concept of what a synth is. That's cool. Today's your lucky day. Uh-huh. Premier for ya. <laughs> Thank you. I need it. Um something stronger? That's something my coworker would say. You have anything a bit stronger? Pushing your luck, are ya? Ha! I like it. Take this. Top shelf all around. So, drink up. You stay here over long and the fog will claim you. 
Might as well meet her with a belly full of fire, eh? Are you fucking drunk, bro? What's so special about the fog on the island? Can you feel it? No. Even here, as safe as anyone can be on this damned island. It's alive. You walk inland and it'll blanket you up in no time. And if the clickety-click of the Geiger don't get you, the madness will. The island will claim us all in the end. The fog can drive you crazy? Yes. It's not natural. The trappers you find inland, some were always murderous louts. But many just got lost in the fog for too long. And the mine goes. If you have any sense, return where you came from. And don't look back. I don't know if he's really warning me, or he's bullshitting me. If it's so dangerous, why do you stay? This is our home. Okay. If you call yourself a proper man or woman, you don't give up on that. Besides, we all gotta die. Might as well do it with your long knife deep in the belly of the beast that wronged you. Ha! Yeah, he's fucking drunk. Sorry, no. Pity. He is so fucking drunk. All right, well, in this case, Piper. Heads up. Just let me know. Damn, she's already starting to drink. I can't even blame her. All right, well. Oh, there's the kitty. Hi, Gatita. You're so cute. Yeah, well, guess what? I'm ready to go at this point. It's time for me to just cause some crazy... What is he doing? Oh, he's been ready to go. Alright, well, let's head out. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.